on player. So these guys are kind of like the old school and new school brawl put together. But J Tails was around in the earlier days, uh, just toward the later end of the earlier days. Either way, oh, Greninja versus Diddy Kong. Wow, this is going to be a really fast matchup. Lots of combos for sure. Lots of just quick movement. Diddy Kong and Greninja both run very fast. Uh, and they play this projectile rushdown game at the same time. A lot of focus on getting grabs, conditioning into grabs, and uh, conditioning after the throws for follow-ups. Both of them really love the uh, down throw to up air combo, both of these characters. Can you find Rizzy and tell him to call Ridge? Thank you. Ridge left. All right, I'm back, guys. Okay, so we're going to have Greninja versus Diddy Kong. Whoa, Greninja. Definitely a very interesting character. And I'm interested to see a Greninja that can make it this far because I've seen a lot of Greninjas, but I've felt some of them to be very lacking. All right? Um, I, I feel the character has a lot of potential. I just haven't been able to see it, so now I'm really excited. Oh, but Tails is not excited to see it. He's going straight <laughs> in there. Oh, no but there it is. Wow, the dive kicks looking like Dr. Doom out here. Just... Wow, like three in a row, really? And forward smash to whip punish the side B. Very good by Bajiski. Not even settling for something small like dash attack or jab or down tilt. Just saying, no, I'm going to punish to the absolute maximum. Get you scared of me right off the bat. Yeah, and from what I've seen of this game so far from Smash 4, this is a rush down game. I mean, all the matchups that I've found very impressive, all the characters that I said, okay, this could win a national, this could win Apex, they've all been rush down strategies. I mean, Duck Hunt Dog, he looks good, all right, but at the same time, it's all about applying pressure to the opponent, continuously putting them in disadvantaged position, and playing from the advantage. It's not a big neutral fest, as everybody keeps saying. It's true that sometimes you have to reset, you don't have infinite combos that go on forever, but it definitely looks like Bajiski's applying a lot of pressure with this Greninja, and Diddy Kong is answering back oh. that star Ninja Star to up smash combo will take him out. That was beautiful. Now, many of you watching are probably saying, who is this guy? <laughs> yeah. But this guy was the original best Rob of Brawl. Yeah. So don't sleep, because he is a monster, and so is Greninja. But don't sleep on J-Tails either. Yeah, Another very underrated, unknown player for no good reason either. Well, I am very awake at the moment, and just in time to see these crazy Greninja combos down tilt to, to some variation of throws, either down or up throw into an up air. Yeah, Greninja's we'll figure it out soon. I'm apologizing. It, it was, That's uh, a it was up. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> down throw up air from Diddy Kong, just so solid. That is the default throw combo that you want to be going for with this character. Just pop your opponent up. You never want to be above your opponent in Smash Bros. Down air to back air to forward air. Three hit combo. Send Diddy Kong off the stage. What was that? That uh, up B has a strange little win box s, win box s. Uh, I push back to it. It's a water box, I suppose. Okay. And, it, yeah, it definitely is pretty slippery. Okay, down throw up air. Staying alive, though. 99%, yeah. not quite enough, even for the light Greninja. This game is so fast-paced, and yet, <laughs> at the same time, so very aggressive. These characters are both at 100%, and neither one is letting up the offensive pressure. Down throw up air. Oh! Wow. Barely lives. J-Tails just snatching it at the last moment. Yeah. That was so intense. <laughs> that was very intense. Yeah, I'm definitely going to co-sign what you said about this being an aggressive game and like the game or tournament winning strategies looking like the aggressive ones. Yeah, uh, but blocking is just not good enough. When the, ca the characters move on the ground too fast, it's too difficult to react with shield and spot dodge is just not safe enough. Dash attacks are just too bursty. I mean, you, you can't be fast enough to defend and win. No, certainly not. Applying you. pressure is definitely better. And at least defending with hitboxes rather right, than exactly. shield in this game. Yeah, also it's seems too to be it's too easy. Board. Yeah. They're the cooldown on moves uh, is great enough that you don't want to use them only to zone. You have to be putting pressure on, or your opponent will easily break through a, a brick wall and then punish you. Okay. After Sonic departs, we will be having another most likely super intense and close game between these two. Uh, unless one of them has learned something that's just totally going to turn the tides. Let's see what these extremely smart and thoughtful players He's so have to fast. The table. Yes. He's so he fast. He just flies across the ground, man. He's a ninja. He's like, a ground plane. Now I understand why this guy's called Greninja. Until now, I didn't quite get it. Now I get it. Yes, Gekoga, which is like Croak and Koga, which means ninja in Japanese. So the name is doubly cool <laughs> in Japanese. Okay. Wow. Diddy Kong putting on a lot of pressure. Doesn't read the uh, the wake up roll towards him. 
So Greninja is able to, unfortunately, not able to follow up that string. Lands a jab there. Diddy Kong's got his banana. This is put a little landing trap, but I don't understand why Diddy went in for that forward air. I mean, it was right. easily blocked and grabbed. It will take away his advantage in that situation, and then Greninja could have gotten a better follow-up. Unfortunately for Diddy Kong, he was able to escape. He will find the banana. Greninja takes it from him, uses it, attacks from above, and doesn't go for the jab. Diddy Sadly, Kong's there, <coughs> attacking on block. Was Diddy not Kong's, the right uh, oh sorry, uh, Diddy okay. Kong's neutral air cancels out uh, the banana, as you saw right there. Any hitbox will have that effect. Also, poking at it on the ground will get rid of it as well. Oh, similar to Rob's gyro. Oh no, yes. no, no, Rob's gyro doesn't. But get no, rid of it. yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. You have to block it to get rid of it on I the ground. I really like the new ground bounce mechanic. You can see how it can lead to some very interesting combos and punish oh. your opponent for not checking. Nice again with the Rager Star to up smash combo. Pajiski has gotten so much mileage off of up smash in a variety of situations, not just for KOing, but also, yes, that horizontal hitbox, even at 0%, looks very safe on hit, puts the, your opponent in a bad position. The way he just seems to slide across the floor is just so graceful and beautiful. Really random. I, I don't know. I, I want to say nice up smash, but it wasn't quite. It's just that his opponent ran into it. A little bit of a sloppy play there, but of course, uh, uh, an outlier compared to the normal way that this grenade is moving. We're going for the vertical approach, just jumps straight onto the stage, immediately tries to go over his opponent without landing on the ground, recovering his jump. A little bit of an overcommitment, and it does cost him his stock. Greninja now responding, gets some stage control and some free reign of movement, but only to slip on a banana. Wakes up with a jab, very smart. Knocking his opponent off stage, and Ooh. wow, the uncharged shurikens just send you at Greninja. That's and the, beautiful. <laughs> and the up smash into the up air combo for seven hit string. D-Tilt, does, he doesn't air dodge, so he will not get the follow-up. Gets you that crucial little pop-up, which is so bad of a position to be in in this game. Absolutely. Of you course, really smart of um, Bajiski to know that even though it's a bad position to be in, he doesn't have the forward air necessary to get a true combo on a follow-up, so he goes for the trap and really good, again, of... Um, J-Tails to realize that he doesn't actually have a true combo out of that, so he simply falls. He realizes the position is, in fact, still neutral, even though it looks like a bad position because of the options his opponent has. Secret Ninja just kicking the banana out of the way. Forward smash, safe on block. He's Super Saiyan right now, but no, not for long. And, okay, just walling him out with projectiles, but J-Tails running in toward the yeah, edge. Gave up all that stage presence. Gave up all the stage presence. Went all or nothing for that grab. Simply allows Bajiski off the edge with the roll. Slips on the banana. Down throw to up air. Barely living. We're on the ground. We've got a neutral. Ooh, Shadow Sneak. Shadow Sneak. Oh, and that takes it. them out. We have ourselves a real match going to game three, folks. If anything was sneaky, it was the fact that it killed there. I had no idea that that would end up taking Diddy Kong Oof. out. Wow. All right, for a 40 power move, Shadow Sneak <laughs> yeah. is looking strong. I <laughs> it was definitely super effective. Yo, this man definitely protean, though, and gets that guaranteed same type of attack bonus. Oh, Greninja Star is a custom move. The, the one that pulls okay. you towards is a custom move. Thank you. Very good. Well, definitely a good choice of Bajiski to bring in that technology to this tournament, uh, knowing that it can bring him that combo potential to land those kill moves and even land those damage combos. As you can see, the up smash follows into the up air, so that's huge damage there. Okay, so we are going back to Final Destination for the third game. They have informed me, so thanks I to, will... Thanks to Zuko for that, uh, that oh, information. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was going to say that. Thank you, Juice Zuko, for throwing us that information because I guess the players were too in the zone, or uh, Bajiski was too in the zone to let us know. Got to focus on the set priorities. Okay, and we're off to the races. Let's get rid of Sonic. Man, this is such an intense set Yo, so this far. Set is hype. <laughs> this game is so hype. And I'm glad to see like all the eras coming back, all the the fossils from early Brawl. And even some melee hands. No, this are looks back, way man. cleaner than early Brawl. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If you think about it, this game not only looks way cleaner than early Brawl, but they're also using far inferior controls. So, what yeah. the game will then develop into just excites me. Yes, because the controls are pretty much the only thing that I'd say are directly reminiscent of Brawl. Uh, the controls and a little bit of the neutral and the trapping game, but man, you just get so much re more reward for successfully landing a trap. In and this it's game. also just viable to approach because zoning isn't as powerful. Of course, you have to make intelligent moves, but as I mentioned before, it's really like a boxing match. And in a boxing match, you can't just sit back and throw punches and move backwards only because eventually you'll run out of the stage and that'll be the end of it for you. P pressured with
Liberty back to the ropes. You're not going to get too much pressure. As you can see right now, Diddy Kong's got his back to the ropes, and Greninja is able to apply so much pressure here. But I know j is actually a boxer IRL, so <laughs> he's probably very familiar with the flow of these matches, man. He is, I mean, I've played this guy extensively. I've seen him at tournaments just doing his thing and wrecking house, man. The guy's real good, and Bajiski, to be able to compete with this player is just a statement in itself. Oh, wow, the banana falling and interrupting Greninja in the end lag of Shadow Sneak. j -Tails, nice, very nice, using the side B after jumping from the edge and double jumping, just exhausting all his resources to make sure he got as far away from Greninja as possible on landing. Yeah, you want to make sure that if you have the resources to escape those follow-ups. Oh, look. The way he, he has very low floor traction, which is just so good at making it difficult to read his movement because he lands and then he continues to slide. A little bit reminiscent of Ice Climbers. He's got that auto wave dash. Or Luigi. That built-in wave dash. Yeah, exactly. Greninja, slippery character. I mean, that's what I would expect from a frog. And oh, j -Tail's just backing up. I feel like up yeah, smash out of shield. j -Tail's is trying to really feel out Greninja's movement options. And to be honest, it's working. Even though he's not landing any hits, <laughs> uh, Greninja's having a difficult time landing any hits either. Both characters playing a little bit defensively, being a little bit careful. But Jiski, despite the fact that he's at 154%, not really caring and just going in for the throw. Now, I'm a little surprised there. Was it outside of the percent where the down throw would combo then into the uh, into the up air? Possibly. You see it just didn't happen that time. Oh, forward tilt keeping him safe from the grab. Oh, that had to be a, a definitely a mistake. I was expecting a grab maybe, or perhaps a pivot uh, tilt, but that couldn't have been what he meant to do. It will cost him his stock. Oh, j -Tail's looking like he had the read. It's, unfortunately, in Smash and other video games, it's not just the thought that counts. <laughs> yeah. You've got to also time things, and doing a pretty good job of racking this percent up, but Pajiski looking to have a little bit more of a solid uh, footing on the ground now that he's respawned. And I can't wait until he, as a player, evolves even further because I saw a frame trap opportunity there out of the air dodge up air. Wow, he's gotten so much mileage off that shuriken to up smash, even not when it's comboing, but just as a trap near the edge, it's certainly scary to deal with. Is Diddy going for the clock? No, <laughs> it's a no way. He's definitely going for the banana. I'm teasing only. I definitely don't see this match going to time. Oh, it looked like he tried to go for Shadow Sneak out of the down air. You can actually cancel the lag of down air with Shadow Sneak. Yeah. See, just up smashing that banana away. No longer a threat. And that's a very low ending lag move, so pretty difficult to whiff punish it. j -Tails has a really huge advantage here and gets Pajiski off the edge. So he's got both positional advantage, almost percent advantage. He's definitely got the life advantage being up a full stock. Could this be it? Oh, oh he's outside of the range. Now that's going to be really comforting for Bajiski because he knows that he no longer has to worry about that as a combo opportunity. As long as he vectors up, he won't be able to get comboed out of a throw. Now, of course, he's got to worry about a lot of other things killing him, but it means that throws are taken off the table, and that's really useful. Of course, goes for the kill throw himself, tries to see if maybe some bad vectoring with some upward momentum will catch his opponent off guard. Oh, Ooh, that smash, smash will do it. Yes. Now, Bajiski's he's at 153%. He's got a hundred, excuse me, he's got one minute and 45 seconds. Can he somehow convert this into a win, or would be taking a trip to the loser's bracket for his favorite Pokemon? Greninja has quite the gimp game as well. His down air, kind of an all or nothing style move, so I would not be surprised to see something like that happen and turn things around, but it looks like j is just playing a very solid defensive game. Oh, forward tilt is very weak here. An off hit. Ooh, catch him with a back air, but that won't do it. 21% to work with. Ooh, oh, trips on the trip. banana. I was a little bit expecting maybe just a roll since his opponent was already in the air. Of course, forward air probably would have still covered that, depending on the spacing. You know, we'll have to watch a replay to see. But as it stands, it caught him off the banana slip, and that'll knock down Bajiski into the loser's bracket after a very impressive sweep this far through the tournament. That was semifinal, so he's done a great job so far.